Actually, I have fun, something funny to tell you. What's that? So a couple nights ago, I guess, when, like, I have a little cold right now. And uh, a couple nights ago, I took some medicine. And it gave me, with the, like, those, uh, the cold medicine dreams. Mm-hmm. I came up with the best sport ever. What's that? Baby long jumping. What? So you train babies to long jump. <laughs> but you got to teach them how to walk. Bro, I had, a, like, a two-month-old baby. Legs like Usainian Bolt. <laughs> Bro, this baby can jump like 20 meters up in the air just standing. And then I woke up and I was like, fuck. Damn it. I had something. Yeah, I know. I was about to win it. <laughs> win it all. Take notes. Yeah. The baby was also black. And that's how we... What? Because he jumps high. Yeah. It just sounds like the, <laughs> the precursor of somebody getting the idea for the Special Olympics. <laughs> what was that guy? I was like... I want to make people feel bad if they laugh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Did you ever get to do the Special Olympics with your brother? Like, at the school or anything? Um, I think, like, once or twice. The, he often did it. He only did it, like, once or twice on, like, on a couple events. Because, you know, my brother was very... Um, vocal? No, not vocal. He, 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 uh, he would easily get agitated. Oh, yeah. Especially if he was like in certain like social kind of mm-hmm. environments, for the most part, he would be pretty good at stuff. There's some things that were funny um, about like taking him to certain social events. Mm-hmm. Like if we went to a party and there's a bounce house, you're not getting him out of that bounce yeah, house. He's gone. He lives there now. Yeah. He's become the king of that kingdom. He's hitting kids, getting yeah. them out of there. <laughs> no, no, I remember one time I did the special Olympics with my my little sister. Yeah. And, uh, you know, they, they did, like, the wheelchair run and everything like that. So the people, like, push the kids in the wheelchair, whoever gets an official, you know, whatever. Um, and it was racing us. And there was, one, there was only one person in that whole uh, class that had an electric wheelchair, so they let her be in that. Yeah. And so we were walking, like, you know, walking fast because everyone's, like, I was, like, the youngest person there helping. Everyone else is, like, older mom or whatever. So it was me pushing my little sister. So I was, you know, taking it slow, like, oh, I'm eating you. Oh, you're beating me. Oh, you know, just yeah, making it fun. And this little girl just, like, mm, she just looks at me. And I'm looking at her, so I start speeding up, too. And then she... Moves her thumb board a little bit more. She starts moving a little faster. I'm like, all right, bitch, let's fucking do this. <laughs> at the end, I'm like jogging with my, my little sister, just like with the wheelchair. And she looks at me and goes, all the way forward, <laughs> takes off, dude. I was like, fucking bitch, dude. Oh, my God. God, dude, she won. I was mad. I was, upset. <laughs> I was fucking mad, dude. <laughs> I, told her, I wanted to go, she's like, why the fuck did you let her compete? That's cheating. It's like juicing, but not. <laughs> it makes me think of that old um cat williams um bit the um uh, poor little tink tink the kid with uh the metal leg that <laughs> ran in the olympics and they're like uh they disqualified him for having an unfair advantage it's like you're talking about the motherfucker with no legs <laughs> <laughs> he's like you just see them out there it's like man my legs are tired are your legs tired well his legs ain't tired he's like this, 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 this. <laughs> Bruh, have Dude, you seen cat- those runners though the people yeah. with, like that run with the like the metal like paddle legs, yeah, dude, those things are like springy too. Yeah, I mean that, that that's yeah. just gonna launch them. I mean, given I know um, for a I know for a while it became like a big thing um, of people getting into like hot like handicapped women. Have you seen that? Bro, there's some hot handicapped women. Out there's there. this one girl who's like who doesn't have legs, and she like goes to the gym and she wears like. The, she like puts on these prosthetic legs to work out, mm-hmm. right? And she just has like a big dumb truck of an yeah. ass. And every, she's fucking hot. Though. But every time, but when she gets there, she gets out of the legs mm-hmm. and she puts her gym clothes on, and she's like, you know, putting on those, like those butt lift fucking, um, yeah. I guess like leggings, and then she's stuffing herself back into those. Um, I guess I shouldn't say stuffing, but you know, she's fitting herself. <laughs> she's fitting herself back yeah. into the fucking like. It's weird because like like prosthetic legs basically act as like. You know, it's like a cup. Yeah, it's a cup. It's like yeah. a you're, you're they're, they're applying cornucopias to their like thighs. Uh, yeah, stuff much. it into the cornucopia. <laughs> <laughs> and no, then uh, what is it, bro? Have you seen the other one that all these fucking like like assholes are just simping over the the girl with the Down syndrome chick? There's a couple. Dude, there's, no, there's one. Where the guys are like, if she's down, I'm down. Yeah, <laughs> I'm like, what the fuck? But yeah. 
<laughs> somebody <laughs> shared a photo. No, it was a video. It was a Down syndrome guy mm-hmm. who just had a chiseled jaw. Like he had like really good genetics. He yeah. had a chiseled jaw, but he still has Down syndrome fa- uh, face. Yes. And somebody commented when you put all your points into charisma. <laughs> Oh god. No, I remember there's one. It's um <laughs> it was just random like uh like it was like one of those TikTok stories that you just randomly start following. You're like, good on you. I mean it was a great story. The guy he was he's Down syndrome. Mm-hmm. He was a little chubby because you know Down syndrome guys are usually a little bit thicker. Yeah. But this guy was like, you know, he just saw like uh what is it, the 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 bodybuilders that do like all the competition shows. Yeah. And he was like, I wanna do that. So you know when like someone like Down syndrome, they get an idea in their head, and that's the idea, mm-hmm. bro. This guy got fucking like just shredded, dude, and he just went up there was like doing all these shows, and he's like, Aah! he's fucking ripped. He won a couple. I love when people do uh, stuff for like um for um for different um groups like that that have dreams. Mm-hmm. I know there's the one of like the kid who wanted to be a pro wrestler, so they put him in like a pro wrestler. There's one that wanted mm-hmm. to be an MMA fighter and they put him in there with like a real MMA fighter oh, and, they, and, yeah. they, and he was taking like like obviously he was like taking the uh, loss for the fight. Yeah. And it's, it's it's inspirational and it's Although he did hit him a few times. He did hit him a few times, but it, that's the <laughs> thing. You see everyone like, whoa, 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 whoa. You can you can never make it easy for them. Yeah. They have to make sure that it, like it feels real. And yeah. I do enjoy when they do shit like that. Or that one wholesome one of the it's the it's like the high school kid. They he's it's like a cere- kid with cerebral palsy and he mm-hmm. wants to be a wrestler. So they throw him on the mat and then the other kid goes out there and they didn't tell the kid about it. He's like, "Okay, I know what to do." And he like he doesn't just pull the kid on top of them. It's over, done and over. He he does make the kid with cerebral palsy do some work. Like mm-hmm. have to like like move him around or whatever a little, and he makes it so it, it feels like a real match. Like he's over there like almost pinning him, but then he like you know kind of nudges him, so he pulls him over to him, and he just like rolls around with him for a little bit to make him feel like you know it's a solid win. Yeah, I was like, get on that kid, man, get on that fucking kid. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but uh, what is it? There was one. It was remember the one I talked to you about the. There's some disabilities that you shouldn't do special things for. Uh, it sounds like I'm an asshole, but no. Uh, remember the, the news story I told you a while back of the blind guy that let fucking uh, drive a car? <laughs> no. Yeah, it was a blind guy. They just like got a track and just let him drive a car around. Oh, like, shit. Like he had someone in the car with him, but I'm like, I'm glad someone had the like the forethought to do that. Be like, hey, we should put someone in the car with him just in case. Oh wait, are you talking about the one where they put the dude out in like the dunes and he's just driving the car out no. on the sand? No, th- I saw a video of that. Oh, this guy cool. who this guy who wanted to always drive a car, but he's been blind his whole life. Mm-hmm. They took him out to like the middle of nowhere of these sand dunes, and they were just like, "Have at it." Mm-hmm. So he just got in the car and he just fucking floors and starts like you know driving the car around. And there's but this the area they're in has no hills. So it's all flat oh, okay. sand. That's good. So that he's just getting to like drift it around, and he feels like the he feels the car moving and shit That's like cool. that. Why is he getting closer? Oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> no, no, that happened. What? Uh, what was it? Um, because you know, like some there's like there's a spectrum with Down syndrome as well, mm-hmm. and like uh, what is it? There's some people that like you know. There's some that can actually like you know hold a job and they can do work and everything like that. They just have Down syndrome. Yeah, some some have gone as far as like being in college, having yeah. families. Like it, it's it's really interesting how far that spectrum goes. Yeah, and then there's some that it's just you can't. Mm-hmm. But uh, I remember one time it was at the uh, the party city that's here uh, uh, in town uh, before they moved. Uh, there was a guy there that that had Down syndrome that worked there. He was just stocking and everything. Mm-hmm. And, bro, this one fucking wasp of an old lady came over to him. She was like, hello, e- excuse me, do you know where? And he looks at her and goes like, what, are you stupid? <laughs> <laughs> and he's like, you can talk to me normal. <laughs> <laughs> bro, I fucking died laughing. <laughs> <laughs> oh god when 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 people call out other people on their shit like that especially if they have the di- like a disability like that they turn around what if he just turned around he's like do you not know english <laughs> or he just around look at this no habla espanol 
<laughs> Got another illegal here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. But, yeah. Oh, did you see uh, mortgages might go down? Huh? Mortgage and rates might go down. No, uh, okay. That's good. Well, we'll see if it happens for real. No, it's happening. Hmm? Like it's it's starting to happen. Uh, well, hopefully it stays in that trajectory. Like I'm, I said, I mean, like, I hope it crashes again. I mean, I I hope things don't completely crash, but things need to crash. No, yeah. like back the, in two thousand eight. Yeah, the housing market needs to crash. Yeah, the economy. Mm. I don't want it to crash. It needs to stay up because then if our mo- if our money equals zero, yeah, at one point, then we're really fucked. Which yeah. I, I doubt that would be a thing. I, I wanted to crash because I want all these fuckers, all these landlords that bought up properties okay. to just lose so much goddamn money. <laughs> like, because they'll, they'll still have to pay. Yeah. But they're going to lose so much money. All right. Well, let's get into the meat and potatoes of today's episode. Wrong answers only. <laughs> so I'm going to give you a scenario and I want to g- and I want you to follow up with a wrong answer. Okay. Wrong answers only. Let's fucking try to improv a little bit. Let's fucking spice All it right. up today. Uh, question number one. Was Hitler right? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Depends on what you mean by right. <laughs> Are you Republican? Huh? Are you Republican? Am I Republican? No. no. I know. Well, if you were, then you'd say, yeah, he's completely mm-hmm. right. Well, that's not what I meant, but wrong answers only. Okay. So, basically, I was thinking about this today because uh, I, I had sent you – you had sent me a message, and you were mm-hmm. like, what's today's episode about? And I said, the fall of the Ottoman Empire. Oh, uh, yeah. And I was like, it all fell apart once they discovered, f- like, freeform jazz. And then I started thinking about it. I'm like, I don't know why that thought popped in my head. I think it's because I was watching, like, like uh, videos on jazz theory. In the Ottoman Empire. In the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> so, they kind of, like – coalesce together because like mm-hmm. at work i try to like occasionally write a couple of bits mm-hmm. and try to see like where i can take them just because i have random like intrusive thoughts okay. and i do them a lot i know um i was thinking about this one thing where i was thinking about like you know how they do a lot of docu-series about tracking bigfoot or tracking yeah. like um cryptids and stuff i want to do one where it's like a documentary where me and a bunch of people are trying to get together, and we're trying to track the source of who started the Marilyn Manson rib rumor of him getting his ribs oh, removed. Dude. Like, we try to track down who was the fat fucking DC skate shoes, fucking zero skateboard T-shirt wearing fucking fat kid who more than likely has a father in jail and lives with his grandparents. Like, I need to find this fucking kid and interview him and how he came up with this rumor. He's got the white uh, wraparound Oakleys. Yeah. Yeah. He more than likely identifies as a juggalo in oh, some God. way, shape, or form. Whoop, whoop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we should get a juggalo on this show. We need to get a juggalo. Did I ever tell you about that one time that uh, my band like played a show where the opening group was like a metal band that had a song stop in the middle with an acoustic part? And then they had a juggalo guy pop, uh, pop up on stage and do like freeform rap. It was like the to acoustic. It yes, it didn't make any sense. So they were playing a metal song. The song slowed down into an acoustic part. I think they were using like an acoustic pedal with the, uh, with a guitar. Okay. And then this guy in full juggalo garb and like makeup goes up there and just hits everybody with a yeah 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 juggalos in the house tonight. And then he fucking goes whoop, into some whoop. yeah he goes into like this fucking whole rap thing, which I think he was just quoting actual ICP lyrics. I don't Probably. know because I don't know ICP songs because I'm not a juggalo. And I'm like, the only song I've ever ho- heard by ICP was their homie song. That's how I was introduced to them. Um, they have one song, which is actually not that bad. It was, uh, it was a song called Homies. And it's just, it, the whole song is like talking about homies, homies. That's the whole song. It, the, the whole song is funny. But the thing is, I have listened to a couple of ICP songs to try to get an understanding why people like them. I don't understand. I understand why people like them. People, like, if you are white trash and live in a trailer park, they just appeal to your whole demographic. Because yeah, you don't know how magnets work. Yeah. It's kind of like, <laughs> I was talking about this the other day with somebody where I was talking about, like, I understand why people believe in what they believe, both spiritually, politically, and so and like social wise, because everybody is always born in a specific area that is an echo chamber to their own beliefs. You know, they pick up everything around them, and that's just what becomes their core beliefs. Juggalos don't understand that they're lame. 
Yeah. And they don't understand they that don't. they're lame because they're from an echo chamber where everyone around them is like, no, this is the cool shit. Everyone yeah. who's not into this shit is lame. We drink Fago all day. Yeah. Bro, the worst picture I've ever seen is that one of the, the juggalos having a, uh, uh, a fucking funeral for like a, a child. And they're all just wearing yeah. like their juggalo clothes. And then the coffin has like juggalo emblems all over it. Yeah. It's like. That's too much, guys. Come on. I remember I watched this one video where it was this girl and her boyfriend, and they're trying to rap. They're trying to uh, record a rap song because it's a rap song that she's going to perform mm -hmm. live at the Festival of Juggalos. I've seen that one. And she did it. And one, it's super cringy. Yeah. But, you know, kudos to her for trying, for getting up there. And, like, it's hard to get up on stage. It's hard to get up on stage and do something like that. It's really nerve-wracking. The one thing about the Juggalo community is they're very supportive of each other. They are very supportive of each other. Yeah. But she ended up losing because she was competing for a Juggalit of the Year. Mm -hmm. And she lost Juggalit of the Year to a girl who won by shoving a microphone up her pussy. Yeah. Whoop, whoop. Weird ass sounds. <laughs> the kids in the crowd are like, what's that wet sound? It sounds like I'm playing with my Play-Doh at dude, home. Dude, when are we going to take the podcast to the fucking Festival of Juggalos? Oh, dude, we should. God. I, no, it sounds insane. We're going to get mono and like but we might disease, just dude. we might just pick up a new demographic of fans, baby. <laughs> whoop, whoop. <laughs> We're going to have a Juggalo minute in every episode. Yeah. I'm never going to have a Juggalo-related episode, but just think of the... Okay. We should have a Juggalo related episode one time. Okay, wrong answers only. What started the Juggalo craze? Uh, the fall of the Ottoman Empire. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't just the fucking, you know. The freeform jazz, acid jazz movement. It's, it's, uh, uh, Tensions in Israel and Palestine are only getting worse after the uh, intrusion of ICP lyrics and, and fucking. It sounds like a like a like a terrorist organization. ICP. ICP. ICP has now become the head of Hamas. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> We're all about family. <laughs> <laughs> you see them all painted like that. <laughs> That's fucked. They're storming on Israel. <laughs> ICPs are Muslims. <laughs> Oh God, that was terrible. Fucking yeah. um No, I think the creation of Fago. Yeah. Yeah. The drink. Okay. By Shasta. Oh, who made Fago? Fago's his own standing company, isn't it? Fago came out of Detroit, which is where they're from where yeah. uh, where ICP is originally from, and that's where like the juggalo movement like maybe, started. Maybe they had the same like uh origin story like uh like the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. What? Just the ooze. Oh the, what? Yeah. <laughs> the, they 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 fell uh the the members of ICP fell into a bed of Fago. Yeah. Radioactive Fago and they came out as the sickest rappers that ever lived. No, a rat <laughs> fell in too and the rat taught him how to rap. What? A rat fell in and taught him how to rap. <laughs> There's a new um comedy special that just came out on on uh, YouTube by Nick Mullen. It's called Year of the Dragon and he had a funny joke about the uh, mutant ninja turtles where he's like, "How are they just getting away with fucking Splinter's voice. He's like, they're all like, like, yeah, let's go get Shredder. And he just comes out of nowhere. It's like, one second? What are you going? Like, 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 they're just getting away with, like, doing this, like, Asian accent. Well, that was in the and 80s. Then, and then the yeah. studio is just like, what? That's a rat accent. That's how rats talk. <laughs> I did, did you watch the new Ninja Turtle movie? Yes, yes. Uh, a Mutant Mayhem. I like that Master Splinter. Because it's just Jackie Chan. It's just Jackie Chan. Yeah, but it's like, he's from New York. Yeah. Yeah, he's just a, a immigrant Chinese man from New York. <laughs> My favorite line that Jackie Chan says in that movie, he's like, there's no dating apps for rats. Trust me, I've looked. Yeah. It's, it's like. <laughs> oh God. That is such a sweet movie. It's yeah, such it's a good. good. I love that animation style so fucking much. I love the cast. That Like, I like that they made them actual teenagers. Cause for like, that is one thing I have, like I will complain a little bit about Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. They never did feel like fully like teenagers. No, it was always like, Oh, we're established and we've already been fighting crime for a while. Yeah. Like it's more of like, they always seem like young adults yeah. than they did teenagers, but these felt like teenage, like children, like teenage kids. The only thing I didn't like, <laughs> If people are going to be fucking racist, uh, April O'Neil's character. I didn't like her design. Yeah, it was just too 
forced. Yeah. It was it, a little forced. It's like, I mean, I understand that it's all about, like, inclusivity and everything yeah. like that. You're trying to, like, you know, appeal to a larger generation. No, by all means. I think they should change the design of April. Yeah. I don't like the original design of her. I thought she always looked kind of, like, like, like boring. The white, busty, uh, red-headed. What, red-headed with the yellow jumpsuit. Yeah, I just yeah. thought it was kind of, like, I mean, of was, the era. It was, like, quote-unquote, the sex appeal to the show. Yeah. 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 It's kind of like after a while, you need to change up the like the eye candy factor of some yeah. stuff because it just gets old after a while. You know, after a while, people get tired of fucking Megan Fox is showing up in like stuff, and then you realize, oh, she was never hot to begin with because she has toe thumbs. <laughs> yeah, I remember she uh, she got shat on for doing one of the characters for the new Mortal Kombat game. Oh yeah, her yeah, voice acting it's was so bad. Awful, dude. She's like, I'm this person. He's like, Megan Fox, just shut the fuck up, dude. <laughs> I drink my husband's blood. Go back to Machine Gun Kelly. God, he's such a fucking weirdo. Yeah, he is. I don't understand how he thinks that he did well against Eminem. Fa- against Eminem. Because he called him out in a rap. And Eminem, Eminem responded. Dragged his ass. One, you should know better. It's yeah. like, you don't pick a fight with Mike Tyson. <laughs> You don't get into an argument with Cat Williams. You, uh, the, yeah, that one fucking lady. Oh my god, god. he fucking. I'm not, the one up, I'm not the one up here wearing twelve dollars of jewelry. He's like, if you go to any Sitco <laughs> with a purchase of two Newport one hundreds, you will get everything she's got on for seven ninety nine. That. Oh my god, god the he one fucked her up, dude. Dude, that shit was so fucking funny. That shit went viral yeah. after it happened. And that was him like returning from like some of the worst years he's had. Mm-hmm. Because that was after he got beat up by that by, by, by that middle schooler. That was after his running with the cops with like doing drugs. Yeah. He was like on the up. And he's in there, sober, drinking a Starbucks coffee. Mm-hmm. And she decides to say something smart to him. She, he's like, oh, you fucked up. Yeah, I got a lot of shit to say. Now, apparently, mm. I didn't know this until I actually heard about it. I think they brought it up on, because <laughs> uh, I know the audience is probably going to bring it up. That It was brought up on Rogan, yes. But they looked into that video because... We watched the episode before this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but they brought up the video of that, and they were, like, reacting to it, and then they, dug, they did some digging into an article, and apparently uh, that radio host is also a comedian, and mm. she ran into Cat Williams at a party in that same city, like, a couple of months later, and Cat Williams had an exchange with her where he... Basically crossed paths with her, and he was like, I told you not to be fucking with me. Uh, he's like, you keep fucking with me, I'll make you go viral. And then apparently her husband chased him down and uh, held him at gunpoint. Are you serious? Yeah. Jesus Christ. Dude. So, uh, yeah, so, and apparently she had said that, like, oh, he just viciously attacked me for no reason on the radio show. I don't know why he was doing that. I'm like. You provoked him. Yeah, yeah. you literally were talking shit. You were talking shit to him, and then he was talking shit back, and you couldn't handle it. I bet the chase looked like. Uh, do you remember that movie Friday After Next? <laughs> yeah. When when uh, the uh, what's his face Terry Crews' character is chasing a Cat Williams character down the road. Yeah, that's what it probably looked like. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's got his like nuts like in the vice cl- in the vice grip. Cat Williams actually is a really good actor. I don't know yeah, if yeah. you saw him. Um, he uh, saw him in um, that one episode of Atlanta. I thought he was in a couple episodes of it. I, I need to I need to go through that show, dude. It's actually a really good show. Yeah. It's actually really well done. Um, uh, Donald Glover is actually a really good actor, even though he does seem to get a lot of hate. But apparently, the hate that he gets from is more from the messages he's left in his uh, music. People have dissected Donald Glover's music catalog of, of Childish Gambino songs, mm-hmm. and his first like. Three albums before he got into the whole soul stuff with like uh with yeah. with the um with the Awaken My Love album, he had like eight different songs referencing Asian women, and people were like, "He's got an Asian kink, and he's making it super obvious." And apparently, the people immediately found out that oh, he's directing this new movie that he's also starring in, 
And apparently the actor that was going to play his romantic partner dropped out of it and he replaced her with an Asian woman. So they're just like, he's making it obvious. <laughs> What's wrong with having an Asian king? Well, people don't like, apparently a lot of people have, like, I don't know why. I, mean, this... I, I guess don't sexualize my culture or whatever or my race. Yes, people don't like when, when certain cultures are like fetishized. Yeah. And I understand that, but you can't really control what a person's preference is, you know? I mean, it's probably the same white bitches out there that are fetishizing black guys. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the same thing about, like, how people are often, like, quick to, um, <clears throat> they're, they're quick to criticize, like, men uh, for, like, dating outside their race. Yeah. Like, a lot of black men get hate for dating white women. A lot of mm -hmm. Hispanic men get shit for dating white women. I married a white woman. Exactly. Yeah. And then... Uh, uh, Grandma took me out of her will. <laughs> <laughs> what fucking will? She's going to leave you a collection of moo-moos? Hey, man, those things are comfortable as fuck. <laughs> You're going to wear <laughs> Grandma's moo-moos? Hell yeah, man. I wear that shit to work. <laughs> There's a breeze in here. <laughs> this is what I needed. A bunch of <laughs> veils. A bunch of veils and a collection of fucking um, of yeah, um, Christmas cool. sweaters that I've never worn. <laughs> what else does she have? What else does she have to give away? Canes? I'm not thinking about what she's got left. <laughs> I don't want to go. That's the one thing that I always thought about. It's like, yeah. dude, that is one thing that I've, I, I never want to experience, but I know it's going to happen if it gets to that point. Uh, splitting everything? No, going through... A deceased loved one's things. Mm. That is going to be heart wrenching. Yeah. Whenever that happens. Because the thing is, I thought about this on a personal level because I was like, fuck, my mom's a little bit of a hoarder. And I'm going to find a lot of shit that she's just like put, that she's put away. Like, my mom's got a collection of a bunch of stuff from when we were younger, when my mm -hmm. brother was younger, when all of us were younger and shit. Like, you know, like, she's got albums of photos and shit and then just stuff that she's held on to throughout the years. But then I also thought about the my own perspective of, like, fuck, I wonder who's going to be the first person to go through my shit whenever I pass. I know that, like, like you know, like, knock on wood, um, but that is, like, something that is a little, like, uncomfortable to think about. I want to put booby traps on all my stuff. <laughs> Just to fuck with people. Just because, you know, I'm that type of person. I always thought about, like, before I get too old, do, like, do a final, like, video, like, video mm -hmm. message for the for the family. It's like, if you're watching this, I'm dead. My plan did go through, and I successfully took in down the Russian government. I have infiltrated, <laughs> and I have become, and I have more than likely died in some rebellious coup to overtake the government. If you're watching this, my plan worked. I'm on the moon currently. <laughs> uh, save up money and join me up here. <laughs> <laughs> my final message goes out to my wife. Do not check my search history. Uh, don't it look. will only hurt you. <laughs> uh, don't look at the box in the closet. Just throw it away. Don't look at it. <laughs> I said don't. You open the box. I said, don't look. <laughs> it's, another video. it's another video that plays automatically. What did I say? <laughs> <laughs> I knew you would fucking check. God, I can't fucking tell you anything. <laughs> what oh, do you, God. what do you want your, what, what did you, what did you want your remains to end up? Oh, I told, uh, I told Hannah to burn me, but I thought, it's cause I read this one book. It's about like different, like, uh, death practices and new practices that are coming up for, uh, Disposing of bodies, yeah. Like disposing of like you know taking care of someone's remains, and the one that I saw is this company out here in the U.S. They uh, they set up like these stone slabs so you can't see the body. The body's wrapped, and they lay you pretty much on a grate, and then they put like wooden stuff under you to light you on fire to mm -hmm. you know turn you to ashes like and a pyre. They, yeah, but they also throw a bunch of like these herbs and certain woods on you that completely kills that burning flesh smell. So mm -hmm. all you smell is wood, so it, it makes it like a it's it, it it makes it better. Like you don't smell someone fucking on fire, mm -hmm. you don't smell burning hair and flesh. Well, I said before we light the pie here, we hit him with twelve herbs and spices <laughs> to ensure that you only get the best of scent. But uh, I was just thinking about that. I want her to do that. Like <laughs> they have you on a, like a little spit. <laughs> They're just spitting like a fucking. 
<laughs> no, I want that. them to uh, to do that for me and like light me on fire. But every now and then, I'm gonna pay someone to come over with the fucking like mop and like baste me. <laughs> It's going to be, like, something that helps the fire keep going, but it's going to look like they're, like, you know, when you make barbecue, you, you moisten the meat back up. Because <laughs> it takes, like, I think the they said on the in, the in the book, it was, like, five to six hours for you to completely burn. What the fuck? Yeah, because it takes fucking forever for your body to burn. You're Bones essentially all, a, ro- a rotisserie chicken. Yeah. They're not spinning you, though. But no. that would be funny to set up, like, a whole, like, barbecue pit area. <laughs> No, you know what I want to happen? Okay, I think this back. I also want the pyre. They're going to put me on the thing and light me on fire, right? But beforehand, I want a mortician to put an, uh, animatronics in me. So that way it activates once it feels heat. So it's going to be like, oh, oh, oh. So they think I'm still alive. God. <laughs> or put fireworks in you. And then it detonates a bomb. No. <laughs> just fireworks. <laughs> you just, you're just like, oh, he's, he's like, he's burning in peace. <laughs> oh god yeah but no, no i wanted to i want that. my before that i told her it was like hey rent a helicopter and just throw me in a volcano like don't bury me i don't need to be buried mm-hmm. i don't need to be embalmed to last forever yeah i yeah. honestly don't like the idea of it I don't like the idea that I'm going to have to make the decision for, like, relatives. Yeah. I already know that, you know, our oldest family member has Mm -hmm. already, you know, got a plot and all the plans for that. And I hate it. I hate hate the idea of, like, I hate that that I have family members that have been embalmed and put in the ground and all that shit. It bothers the shit out of me. Yeah. But, you know. I have um, my own preference, you know. I want to go back to the earth. I think that's how it should be, you know. So in years, when the radiation hits and we come back as kaiju's, I'm ready, baby. Damn. I also thought about this. I was just like, what if I can turn my body and its organic material into just fertilizer, so I can grow mushrooms. And then people will take that mushroom, which will give them the most insane trip ever. And it's just the trip of me wagging my dick in their face. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. It's just like whenever someone wants to talk to you or something, they just eat one and you just show up in a chair. Hey. What's up? What do you want? You pull me from my eternal slumber to <laughs> do what? It just pops up. Did Hitler win? <laughs> <laughs> Did it work? <laughs> what worked? Fuck, it didn't work. It just disappeared. <laughs> Or I want to, uh, if hello, go back to the video. <laughs> hello, my name is Hamas. <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, they're all Muslim up there. I didn't know either. <laughs> uh, the, they just, were right. You just fuck with people, like, uh, through this fucking, like, crazy. That would be interesting, though. Imagine that you could turn your own, like, body into a hallucinogenic drug that summons you. That would be so cool. Think about it. Like, imagine like you you could, imagine your your father, God forbid, passes, and then he turns his body into a bunch of psychedelics, where you can essentially pop it, and your dad will appear for a couple of hours, and you just get to chill with him. But the whole time, he's just doing his typical dad shit. Mm-hmm. You know, he's just talking about like how he's in heaven, but. There's no there, foot soccer. There's something. not enough chairs. <laughs> <laughs> there's, no, there's like, they don't get the game up here. It's fucking ridiculous. Can you believe it? Yeah. He's like, apparently, um, if you're poor in the real world, you're still poor in heaven. Dude, so, that would be some fucked up shit, dude. So he's just like, so um, I still have dish. <laughs> still? I, I still have dish Latino. That's all. They won't let me upgrade. Only 300 episodes or 300 channels. Half of them are music channels. Um, yeah, I, I remember Dish. Dude. You have you have to work. So he's working at a warehouse in heaven. <laughs> no, he's back to work in construction. Oh, because you know you go back to like when you feel like at your prime. Oh shit! So yeah, prime year. Will be really fucked up. They go to heaven. They work them when they're in their prime. He's out picking uh, strawberries again. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because that's what they did in Florida. Oh god, god, dude, that would suck. Bad breaking work, dog. Yeah, but you're never tired, so you never stop. It's funny, I was going down another historic rabbit hole 
because you know I was watching some videos on my boy Ulysses S. Grant. Love my boy Ulysses S. Grant. So, fun fact about Ulysses S. Grant: he was an abolitionist, right? Mm-hmm. Super against slavery, yeah. always has been. And he married a woman whose father was a plantation owner and fucking hated him for being an abolitionist. Mm-hmm. So, whenever they got married. As a wedding gift, he bought Ulysses S. Grant a slave to piss him off. And Ulysses S. Grant fucking hated that, but kept the slave. And because he kept the slave, he's been forever criticized as owning a slave. But what people don't talk about is that slave was never treated bad. He actually made him his right-hand man and business partner and once the business they started together took off, he gave him the business. Oh, wow. And he actively fought against slavery because he knew morally it was wrong. So much so that when he would go work at his father-in-law's farm, he would go out and work with the slaves just to spite him. My boy Ulysses S. Grant. I'm going to name my first son Ulysses. Just you wait. Just fucking wait for it. And also, yes, he... Was a very stoic man. Mm-hmm. He hardly drank, but when he was off at war during, during the Civil War, he got drunk one night because he was missing his kids and he was missing his wife. He was late for a meeting and he was forever branded as a drunk because well, of it. They purposely got him drunk. Huh? Uh, uh, some people purposely got him drunk. Yeah, I think they baited him into drinking yeah. more because so, he was. And then he feeling... showed up late the next day and they were like, yeah. oh, he's a fucking drunk. Yeah, and then like from that for forever on, like he was just branded branded as a fucking drunk, which I thought Dude, was. Can you bullshit. imagine like that happened to you one day in your life? Like like you didn't know you're gonna do something really good and then like the next day you're like, All right, I gotta get up early, I gotta do this, and then someone like gives you crack. Okay. And then you just come into the next day like three hours late, like <laughs> I haven't where have I what? Mm-hmm. And they're like, Oh, he's a fucking crackhead. What the fuck are we doing here with this guy? <laughs> Okay, wrong answers only. Why did John Wilkes Booth actually shoot Lincoln for? Uh, he had a small pee-pee. Huh? Small pee-pee. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And Abraham Lincoln was like... He didn't kiss me goodbye. He came in me and didn't kiss me goodbye. <laughs> well, I mean, Abraham Lincoln had long pee-pee. Oh, did he? Yeah, because he was half black. He was half black? Yeah. I thought he was like... I thought he was Appalachian. Wrong answers, man. What? Wrong answers. Oh. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. No, there was a thing that said like... um, uh. Like, there was a whole debate they made, like, maybe he did have some African-American in him? Well, my <laughs> understanding is that he was mixed with, like, old-timey Appalachian. And Appalachian people at the time were kind of mixed with the indigenous and had a little bit of, mm-hmm. like, mixtures of other, like, Creole and a mix of, like, um... There's some slave Maybe, maybe there, slave yeah. hands in there, too. Because obviously, like... Like, once the North started, like, banning slavery, they, you know, there's a portion of the Appalachia that reaches up that high. Yeah. So I'm assuming there's a portion of, like, slaves that probably, like, you know, became a part of those Appalachian, like, communities. Mm-hmm. And they fucking, you know, had mixed children there. and here I mean, and there. yeah, a lot of Appalachian, uh, uh, like, medicine mm-hmm. uh, comes from old uh, tonics that uh, African-American slaves would make. Mm-hmm. Because they couldn't get medicine. Yeah. So they would make it their own all with like herbs and stuff that they would find. Oh, fuck. I forgot about something I was going to bring up. Did I... you know Abraham Lincoln was a uh, uh, state champion wrestler? Was he really? Yeah, dude. He fucking whooped ass. Damn. Apparently. Dude, imagine if fucking him and Teddy Roosevelt got into it. Oh, bro. They'd be bros. Dude. They'd so... be killing vampires. <laughs> so do you know who Jack Johnson is? He the was singer? like the. No, Jack Johnson was like the first like African American like boxing superstar. Mm. Like he was like the first ever like undefeated boxer. So much so that they used to have like these giant boxing events where it would be him versus the Great White Hope, which would be like they would like prop up a like, The Great White Hope. Yeah, they would prop up this fucking um this white boxer being like, he's the best boxer. He's going to beat this black guy and show that white people are superior. And Jack Johnson always fucked them up. Well, Jack Johnson, you know, was a badass. Dude, what's crazy is it was documented that he used to fucking drive around in like a fucking Rolls Royce and have white women in his car oh with God. him. He was a fucking animal, dude. He was fucking awesome. And he was undefeated. He, I think he did lose a fight eventually just because he was starting to get older. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then the, that was the, I think, because I think he had lost 
a and box- that's when segregation started. No, he lost a boxing match to a Russian. So it's kind of like, yeah, he technically lost to a white guy, but like, you know, it's it's kind of yeah. like that's like you know you saying like, oh, he lost to a Greek, but like Greeks are kind of like olivey. Yeah, they're yeah. they're kind of they're more Middle Eastern than you think they are. Yeah, but anyways. So Jack Johnson becoming the heavyweight champion of the world. Um, Teddy Roosevelt caught wind of this, and he was just like, "I want to meet him," and he invited him to the White House. And Teddy Roosevelt had such a weird way of thinking, because he was always just kind of like he was like a man's man, right? And he invited him, and he was like, "All right, um, it's nice to meet you. You're the heavyweight champion of the world. I want you to prove it." He made Jack Johnson. Box him. And Jack Johnson whooped Teddy's ass. And then Teddy was like, okay, you won. All I'm going to ask you from now on is that you never mention this to anybody. Because he was so embarrassed that he lost the fight. That's how much. Teddy Roosevelt. He's a fucking madman, dude. Because in his mind, he was like, if this guy's the toughest guy in the world, well, then I have to fight him. Yeah. He was Goku. (laughs) That's pretty much what Teddy Roosevelt was. Yeah. Yeah. God, that dude was fucking wild. That guy was a that he did. fucking crazy dude. I like uh, I like the uh, uh, the write off someone did for him whenever he died. They were like, "Oh, he died in his sleep because uh, death had to come for him in his sleep." Yeah, like he wasn't gonna come for him when he was a lot awake. He was a really interesting guy. Yeah. Like he was the first one that like privatized like um, national parks and mm-hmm. shit, and like which was awesome. He was the first one that started like a bunch of like the meat factory, like um, what's it called? Um, like not OSHA, I guess it is it was OSHA. Like FDA. Yeah, if it was like the FDA yeah. regulations and stuff to make sure that there weren't like malpractices and shit. Or fingers and shit in there. Yeah, because yeah. I mean that was back in the early years where people were just fucking like doing all kinds of mm-hmm. weird shit. It's funny today at work we we're talking about um, we we're talking about like uh, uh, people cheating competitive sports, right? And we we're talking about that video that went viral like a, uh, like a year back of like the the. The um the fisherman that cheated by putting oh, yeah. he put weights into like the the bass fish and then oh, I just <laughs> thought bro like one weight you would have won mm-hmm. why the fuck did you have to put like six of them in that fucking fish dude no but the funniest thing is that he put other things in there too yeah and one of them they found a half frozen fish fillet <laughs> and he was just like that fish already had it in there. Like he just found a half frozen fish fillet in the pond, <laughs> and he ate all these fucking sinks too. Jesus Christ! Oh my God! God, those people were out for blood though. Oh they yeah, they were when ready. they cut that fish up and they're like, "Get the fuck out of here!" Yeah. It's crazy to think like how like there are so many sports or competitions out there that there has to be some type of form of cheating that a lot of people don't fucking like talk about. One of my coworkers was telling me about um, he at one point was do uh, used to do archery competitions, mm-hmm. and he said that he uh, got second place at an archery tournament, but then it was overturned and he ended up winning because the guy who got better shots than him was disqualified because his gut used to protrude so much that he would balance his bow on the top of his stomach. So basically, they counted it as him having like an advantage in, uh, yeah. and yeah, and because I mean, you're using it to stop your arm from shaking. You're using it as leverage. Yeah. So they're like, he's using technically his stomach as a stand, yeah. which therefore would disqualify him. And I, I thought that was so fucking funny. And then I remembered about like, oh, that reminds me that like back a couple a year a couple years back when I was getting into like the height of like my Magic the Gathering playing. We had heard that they were thinking about doing an anti-doping screening thing for Magic tournaments because they apparently had a rise of players abusing Adderall. What? Yes. And because it was not just prominent in competitive card playing, but it was being com- it was becoming a really big thing in fucking chess play too. Competitive chess players were taking like handfuls of fucking Adderall so they could just fucking visualize the board like yeah. they're playing 3d chess for real dog <laughs> it's all the numbers and everything i've already won <laughs> i beat you in 20 moves damn it i beat him in 23 <laughs> shit but what is it the the, the one that's crazy i beat you in you five moves <laughs> the one that's crazy that you see a lot on t- on the like tiktoks are the baseball cheating ones yeah like there was one guy he was 
I never thought like how much it would mess up the game, like your swing. Mm -hmm. But greasing the ball, yeah, bro. I never thought it would be that bad. But there was one guy. He was literally just throwing like it looked like he fucking like dunked a ball in Vaseline. <laughs> <laughs> and he threw that bitch, and you see it when it's going, you see Vaseline coming off of this shit. Yeah. And then when you see the guy hit it, the ball just goes whoop, around the bat. <laughs> and, he, and the guy catches the ball, and you see... <laughs> no change-up, no curveball, nothing but fucking gas. <laughs> Actually, that's a thing that I've heard about, is that uh, sometimes baseball players will put Vaseline behind their ear. Yeah, they'll keep rubbing their ears. Yeah, they'll, they'll rub their ear yeah. in order to, like, lube up their hands when they throw. And yeah. all that shit. Um, or they'll put it in their in their hat. Yeah. I don't yeah. know if you heard about this, but did you hear about the Gainesville um, high school kid that passed away? Oh, yeah. He got hit in the head with a bat. Yeah, he was yeah. at the batting cages, and a bat, like, I, he said he was apparently he was like leaning up against a certain part of the batting cage and a bat went flying and hit him in the back of the head. Uh, he's fucked. Then. Yeah. It, they knocked him into a coma and then uh, he was in a coma for about he was in a coma through of Thanksgiving, uh, the Thanksgiving break. Mm -hmm. And um, I think it was just this past Sunday they declared him uh, brain dead. Yeah. And so they ended up pulling the plug on him, which I was like, that sucks. And yeah, yeah. apparently they, uh, the, he was an organ donor, so they were going to um, extract the organs for donations and stuff. And um, the parents were obviously devastated about it because the thing about it was, like, this kid, like, lived and breathed baseball. Wasn't he really good? He was one. He was really good. Yeah. He had already gotten a college scholarship, and he, he was a – an all stars like honor student, mm -hmm. like he had all A's, because like they questioned his ability of like how the fuck are you so good at baseball and why are your grades so good? And apparently his natural response was like I don't know, I just do my best, you know. Yeah. And this kid was like looking at a very bright future, and I guess the universe wasn't ready for that. Someone no. being actually good, yeah, and smart. We didn't bring it down, dude. Yeah, I know. I didn't yeah, mean to bring it up. It was just like something I was thinking about. You know, I'll, I'll fine. I'll you know, here. I'll uh, I'll bring up some notes. <laughs> I was but like, uh, what is it? Going back to my uh, my dream. How I wonder how I would start my baby uh, long jumping. Like first, I got to teach him how to walk. Yeah, I think, and then jump, <laughs> and then the coordination mm -hmm. to run to jump for the long jump. Okay. And then I'm just going to start pumping their legs full of, like, like hormones and steroids. Yeah. Get them, like, some fucking legs, like the, like the ones you see on that fucking uh, Liver King guy. Oh, yeah. He's like, duh, 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 duh. He's like, I'm not on steroids. He's like, yeah, you are. Yeah, I'm on steroids. <laughs> it's funny how quickly that changed. Yeah. Uh, I remember somebody had shared a video of him recently because he decided that after he got caught that he was going to start not using steroids yeah, and now he no now he's still jacked but he looks withered yeah like well, because the, he's not pumped up yeah he's not yeah. pumped up so now he just looks like he's buff still but he's looks like a like, a, like he looks his age now yeah I, it's just weird like uh but like steroids of course like with any drug you have mm -hmm. to come down from them every now and then you have to cycle off uh so you see people like grow and get small again like constantly yeah. but then it like kind of evens out so it was not that bad but they see these motherfuckers that are just not stopping and keep juicing and juicing and they just look like thumbs like they're, they're just all muscle it looks like um like those bulls that are just all muscle yeah that's what they look like they have tiny little feet tiny hands no neck and just yeah. nothing but like chest <laughs> and then they get in trouble or they like rip a muscle so they can't work out anymore. Cause that's another thing too, dude. Like all yeah. the working out that I've been doing lately, it's still in the back of my mind, the fear. I know it won't happen until like I lift really heavy and if I do it really wrong. But just seeing the videos of the people that like tear a bicep or a, pe a pec, like, uh, like you're doing a bench and you go like that and then all these ligaments just snap. Yeah. And you see the pec just go. God, dude, I heard it's like super painful. Yeah, because it's like it's 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 ripping off the bone. Yeah, and God. I honestly I think that's more of a circumstance of just pushing the weight too yeah. often. You have to give your body time to yeah. Rebuild but I mean, itself. it's like the form you're pushing your body too much, the amount of weight you're pushing. Mm -hmm. Like some, it's just 
ridiculous. I've been dude. seeing a lot of people talk about the new evidence on like muscle growth with um, doing partials. Have you seen any of that? No. So partials has become like the new craze in like uh, bodybuilding or working out for building muscle. So essentially the whole idea with partials, it, it got really popular with Sam Sulek's rise in fame because he does that with every workout. Mm. And with the results, of, other than the fact that he's also fucking on D-ball or whatever the fuck it is. But still, he, he he's gotten really good results with his like like his training sessions. But partials is essentially... Um, Working out to exhaustion and continuing the push after. So basically, like, let's say you're doing a bench press. Yeah. So you make it to, like, I don't know, like 20 pumps. And then when you're hitting 21, you're like, fuck, I can't get it all the way. Fine. Just stop as far as you can and keep going to that distance until you just can't anymore. Oh, that's dangerous, though. No, apparently not. Because apparently it actually improves muscle function. It, 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 it's like, for some reason, it's shown like an extreme uh, high percentage and more muscle growth than any other technique. And it's apparently it's not this. It's what's more dangerous is is pushing past um, a partial when you're hyper extending yourself when you're already fatigued. I'll have to hit up my buddy on that, see if he's heard about that much. Any it's a big thing that I've been seeing a lot of people on TikTok talk about. It's become mm -hmm. like a new craze of thing. So I want to say that it's considered a little controversial in the gym world, but the thing is the evidence behind it has been shown. Like I think they said that they did like they did 10 different studies and they said nine out of the 10 showed that there's benefits in partials. Mm -hmm. And the 10th one was inconclusive for whatever reason. I don't know. Like they fell asleep. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I was studying the, uh, the benefits of partials and I just ended up jacking off to gay porn. I don't know what happened. I'm quite partial to men. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking about this earlier today. It's another bit that I'm trying to work on. Um, I was talking. I was thinking. I was thinking about like the news recently, where I was talking about like there's been a rise in like company turnovers. Yeah, and it, there's a huge amount of company turnovers because of people silent quitting, where they're basically like they just had enough. They just stopped showing up to work. You know, that's not what silent quitting is, huh? But that's what do you mean? Silent quitting is um. <laughs> it's uh. it's sneezing. Yeah, that's what it is. I oh, can't remember. I think I was thinking of something else. Anyways, moving yeah. on. So, way to fucking like burn my momentum, dog. <laughs> Anyways, there's been a rise in people silent quitting uh, and not like wanting to work and shit like that because people are burnt out. Men they're burnt out mentally. They're burnt out yeah, brother. This. They just don't want to do this shit anymore, yeah. and they just fucking say I'm out and they leave. You know, and I think the problem really stems is that. We're not getting enough pizza parties. And it's not just the pizza parties is the problem, but it's also, it's not the lack of pizza parties is the problem, but it's also the lack of quality pizza. Because the thing is, if you think I'm going to bust my ass for minimum wage and just get a hot and ready, like, nah, that's not, like, we need shakaronis in here. Shakaronis. We need the shakaroni, dog. Call, call out Papa. Also, Bro, dude, I remember. How long is it gonna take before Shaq says something anti-Semitic and they're gonna replace him as the, the uh, as a different? I still think we need a petition so they call Papa John's Papa Shaq's. Papa Shaq's. Yeah. Uh, I or maybe they just give it a new name. Papa Shaq's, dude. No, Shaq Attack. Shaq Attack Pizza. Shaq Shaq. Shaq Shaq. Shaq Shaq. Shaq Shaq. <laughs> you want to get some Shaq Shaq? Hell's yeah, bro. We dare to out pizza the hut. <laughs> We're gonna out shack the hut. It's called Shack Shack. <laughs> Fuck you, Pizza Hut. <laughs> I, I like Pizza Hut better, actually. Huh? I like um, Pizza Hut better. Really? Yeah. I've mm. never been a big fan of Papa John's. It's just something with their bread. It's it's sweet. Uh, honestly, I don't like either. What do you like, Domino's? No. No. My my the pizza I've been enjoying the most lately has been Marco's Pizza. They are pretty good when they're fresh. Yeah. If you eat that shit cold, not the best. Yeah. No. Um, you know, it is good cold pizza, though. What? Fucking uh, Little Caesars. Little Caesars pizza, when it's hot and ready, it's good. Yes. When it's, like, warm, it's shit. When it's cold the next day, ooh wee bro. I don't know, man. I don't like how that cheese thickens up. I, it's a little gross to me. And the, the sauce is a little, like, ketchup-y to me. I, don't know. I guess that's just what makes it good. I don't know. It's kind of like... You know what used to always bother me? Uh, uh, we have... 
You know who I'm talking about. We have cousins that like to eat like um, eggs with ketchup on them. Yeah. I fucking hate that. Yeah, I can't I th- do like I think scrambled so eggs and ketchup. Nah. Scrambled eggs and ketchup, dog. Nah, bro. I remember I saw. Reese. I do huevo con migas with ketchup. Yeah. Uh, I can't do ketchup like that, dog. No, bro. Try it. Mm. Try it. With, make the migas, but make them nice and crispy, like to their like almost burnt. Eggs. Cook it up. Let that egg cook really good into it, and then put a little bit of ketchup on it. I have a hard time. With ketchup, dude, because I have such a weird relationship with ketchup. It's like, so would it rape you? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> he caught me in the shower, dog. It bit my ass over. Didn't give me a chance. Scored half the bottle with me. Which worse, I didn't get the fucking wax my asshole, so I felt all the hairs pull too. Oh, you didn't watch the video before that? No. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't nair before. <laughs> Where was Anthony when I needed him? <laughs> I didn't know how to God, nair. Dude, I still like. Flashes of that in my memory, just like, yeah, look at that. No, <laughs> it's winking. <laughs> it's still up. It's still up on YouTube, God, dude. which is funny because um, YMH decided to capitalize on that. Mm-hmm. And they did a video with Dr. Drew on how to check for testicular cancer. And they just have a dude's actual penis oh, like, really? being like, like, and he's in there, like showing people how to check for like testicle okay. lumps. And apparently they're gonna do one for um, for breast lumps as well too. Oh, cool! But you know, it's like it's the meme of like, hey, we're getting away with showing like genitalia mm-hmm. on YouTube, but we're actually doing it in an educational way. So therefore, it's not breaking any rules. Yeah. And you know, I can tell that they they, they probably had fun with the idea, but it, it is beneficial to have up there. Yeah. It's good information to know, just like nearing your asshole. I've been watching all his bottoming courses, and I think I'm pretty good. <laughs> I'm pretty open now, so, you know. Yeah. Like, if I run fast, you're... <laughs> As I've always told myself, it's not until I'm getting married while I'll finally get pegged. And that's where I've decided to finally break the seal. <laughs> break the seal. I'm like a, I'm like a fresh bottle of wine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready. Oh my god! I remember Your wife what? comes around the corner with like a fucking horse cock. <laughs> <laughs> uh, see, this is the thing I don't. This, this is the one thing that that it's funny because it's kind of like come back to like haunt me. Is that I've gotten my wife too comfortable with uh with saying outlandish shit because I say mm-hmm. outlandish shit all the time. I'm always saying some stupid shit, and now that's affected her. To where now she does it and she catches me off guard Mm -hmm. because um, that whole thought process was coming out of like a joke that I was building about like getting pegged. Right. Because one day we were just sitting there watching TV. I forgot what the fuck we were watching. And she was just like, did you let me peg you? I'm like, what the fuck? No. Like, I was like, what the the fuck? Maybe. But, you know, (laughs) I'm like, like, how would we do it? Like. I mean, I have a wish list, but I don't know if we have enough money. Would you have me ever pull my hair or something? I don't know. I mean, I guess we could use that gift card that you gave me for Christmas, but <laughs> we have the setup. I don't know, but you know, it's crazy. I already had like these uh, sex uh, swings, but <laughs> I'll get the stirrups ready. I guess. Uh, does this one come with the suction cup to put on the wall? Or just fuck, just back me up into it. Like, <laughs> should I buy that maid dress then? Yo, family that's listening to this probably think that I've gone to a r- new level of, of deprivation eh, of, of being a perv. The world's ending eventually. It reminds me of another thing that I was working on, where I was like, um, I was thinking about uh, this other concept for a joke. I've been working on a lot of jokes lately. I really want to fucking get ready for like an open mic one day. So I'm they const- have them all the time in town now. I know, and I keep forgetting yeah. to look into them. I think I want to go to a couple of them and kind of like scope them out a little bit i want to see what, like what the crowds are like let me look it up because uh, while you're talking about your thing i'll look it up because there's one there in town keep talking <laughs> anyways i was talking about this i was thinking about this one thing where i was um you know i was talking about like how early in my life that like the inner perverts are coming out and i think it was coming out pretty substantially like in like this like the like the late middle to early high school you know that's when the hormones really start fucking t- churning dog those fucking um early years are really fucking churning and uh i remember s- always hearing these rumors about um band classes how they're just full of freaks 
Like all the kids in band class are fucking freaks, yeah, right? Yeah. And I'm just like, damn. There's wonder, some wild fucking parties. I, I wonder. There, I wonder how true that is, you know. And you kind of get interested a bit. Your inner pervert's just kind of like, ooh, maybe I can fucking get some pussy out of this, you know? Fucking. And then you actually go to one of those like band classes, and you're like, oh my god, all these people are fucking ugly and fucking weird and. They're social outcasts, and you start to find out that the only person in that class getting laid is the teacher. <laughs> the, the teacher's fucking the hottest one of the group, which actually was a thing that happened at my school. I believe that the um, the band teacher got in trouble for sexting a student. The student was 18 or 17 going on, 18 or She's something like that. She's still in high school. She's still in high school. It's fucked up. But then again, I thought about that also, dude, is like, how many high schoolers have successfully slept with a teacher after they graduated? Probably a lot, dude. It has to happen. Yeah. It has to happen. Because I remember there used to be a couple of young single teachers in my high school that students would hit on. And obviously they would have to be like, yeah, yeah, whatever, you know? Yeah. We but, can hit one up after, right after this. <laughs> What? The, it's a uh, uh, Friday, December eighth at eight p.m. Doors open. At oh, 7. okay, okay, okay. Yeah. I want to. I want to. I, I want to make do them every other week. I want to make sure I make a new rule with you. Is um, I remember the other day I thought it was funny. I was going through some old footage of a recent episode, what? and you got mad at me uh, at one episode for saying your friend's name, which I only gave his first name, and also he has a very common name. Well, yeah, but I wasn't getting mad. I was just like, oh, don't say his name. Yeah. That's it. I know, but still, it's funny that you called me out for this, but that you've given out, but you've given uh, out on multiple occasions different street businesses and areas in our area. Yeah, so people can come find us, come find me. <laughs> but I just thought it was funny how like I, I just mentioned your friend first name, and you were like, "Don't say his name." But you're just like, yeah, so the other day I was at the Burger King on the corner of, like, I'm like, oh, my God. Like, dude, stop. Why? <laughs> because we're, <laughs> we shouldn't give out personal information like that. Nah, I, obviously, fine. we're not giving away our home address and shit. But still, it's something to think about. Two. That's all I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> every, I'm going to do that every episode from here on out. I'm going to give, like, a random thing. That's going to get someone closer and closer. Yeah. Yeah. How many serial killers do you think we'll get? How many murderers do you think we'll get if we do that? Mm. People just wanted to kill someone. <laughs> like, there's, and it's perfect for them because they're like, oh, it's a podcast. I have no ties to this person whatsoever, but they're slowly giving me information over time. So there's no build up to it. And then finally, one day, I get enough information. I just go and fucking kill this person. Yeah. It's the perfect crime. <laughs> but yeah. How many murderers do you think you've crossed paths with? I mean, murderers? Yeah. Probably a couple. Yeah. Actually, I can confirm two. Oh, nice. Yeah. Because, uh, well, actually, they were murderers after the fact. Oh, uh, okay. And technically, one of them murdered himself. Hmm. So I don't know if that counts. Does that count? That doesn't count. No, that's that's suicide. No. Well, he he attempted murder. I had a coworker from an old job. What's his name? <laughs> huh? Uh, his name and phone number. Well, I, I mean, you Address, can't call. Facebook link. Is, <laughs> I mean, there's no point in calling him. He's in hell now. But um, <laughs> because everybody knows if you kill yourself, instant ticket to hell, baby. Hells yeah. Yeah. I'm sorry. You didn't get to ride the rainbow road into the fucking veil of reality, dog. Because you fucking. Veil of reality. Yeah. Because when you, 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 when you shoot yourself in the head, you don't get to cross that bridge. You've emptied you you've emptied out the potential to cross that veil, but that's for a different day. That's for a different podcast. The fuck are you talking about? I'm fucking high. <laughs> I'm high on life. All right, Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> don't don't even mention his name today, Joe Rogan. I'm so sick and tired of these comments Ooh. saying that we fucking copied Rogan, but I'm trying to avoid saying anything Rogan related from Joe Rogan. On. Huh? Joe Rogan, right? Yes. Joe Joe Rogan. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's copy someone else now. Uh, who's at the copy? Um, 
What was that one podcast? Uh, they just started it's two uh, brothers, they're twins. Yeah, I'm not gonna. No, no, no you leave, <laughs> you, yeah, you leave their name out of this. You're problematic. You know that. Yeah, I know. You're a feisty fuck. You know yeah. that. You're always trying to start shit. Just for fun. <laughs> yeah. I know, but you should probably avoid doing that. Why? You're gonna get hit in the face one day. You're gonna piss somebody off, okay. dog. Mm. Feel your anger. Release it. Don't pet that shit up. That's bad for you. I'm trying to protect you. Why? Because I'm going to have to protect you. Nah. I already know you can't fight. What? Yeah, you obviously can't fight. Who said that? <laughs> Who said that? Was it easy mode? <laughs> <laughs> I call your bitch ass out. <laughs> I noticed that. Um, I've noticed in a couple of episodes that that is a fucking like trigger for you. What? When you tell when somebody mentions that you're not capable of something, you're like, what? Who said that? Like, <laughs> oh, yeah. Because yeah. it's one of those things where it's like. It's it's like I could totally fucking do it. No, yeah. yeah, I could do it. Yeah, yeah. And it's all I know the other one too. This other one, you absolutely hate it. If I've ever like, if I've ever, if I've ever joked at calling you lazy in a way, because then you're just like, what? I'm not. No, fuck you. Like, <laughs> no, yeah, I hate that dude. Yeah. But I understand that yeah. because like I remember seeing this one video where this guy was talking about like, you know how hard it is to be fat, where every time I sit down. And finally get a meal. Someone's like, your fat ass is eating again? Yeah. Like, th- I understand that struggle. Because I've, I've experienced it too, you know? Because, like, I, <clears throat> I get it. I'm not, I'm nowhere near the same size as you are. But I'm still fat. And I still. You're, like, quietly fat shaming me right now. <laughs> no, no, no. But I'm, but I'm fat too. That's the thing. But it's not like, as big as you, though. <laughs> I, I will say that I get away with it more often than you do. Because I'm not as fat. But I'm still fat. <laughs> It's just like, you know, I don't know, man. Fucking eat a salad. Do something. I do eat oh. salads. <laughs> like three of them at a time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what sucks, though? Uh, once you get older. <laughs> Let's keep thinking of that video. It's Which like, it's this dude that's just like, oh, fuck. They didn't give me my salad. They just gave me a burger. I guess I'll eat this. And the yeah. camera flips around. He's, and he's the just, big titties. He's just huge tits. <laughs> Such a weird body, dude. <laughs> He's got another one where he's just like, look at that. He's like making fun of a guy running on a treadmill and he puts up the speed and he's like, that kid's a fucking lard and it cuts over and it's him yeah. again with this giant <laughs> fucking fat body. Yeah. I don't even know what I was going to say. It before. must be hard to have like, like a very soft figure like that. Yeah. It's one thing to be like fat but have hard fat, but it's another thing to be like soft fat. Yeah. There's soft- a point where you get to that. Like, um, or like when you have like like I know I have moves, mm-hmm. like I have man boobies, but they're not like overtly large. Yeah, like to the where they look like actual titties. They're not round. Yeah, and supple. And like also my like for a fat guy, like you know when people get fat, their nipples blow out. Yeah, I got tiny nipples, bro. Mm. Yeah, they haven't blown out, and I'm pretty happy about that. That's the thing. I I've always I used to always get made fun of because I have like. Pretty yeah. large nipples. You got pepperoni nipples. I got some pretty big nipples. I mean, they're not pepperonis. They're, I have like, I have, they're like quarter, quarter sized nipples. Okay. I mean, I have like, but then again, I think it's because of my friend group. I was with a bunch of white dudes, and yeah. white dudes either have average or very, like, one of my friends had fucking like, like, Hershey Kiss mini nipples. You ever <laughs> seen nipples like that? Just really pointy and long. They're very pointy. Were they brown? Huh? Were they really brown? No, they were pink, Ugh. which is just kind of like, like, dude. You like, look like an animal sometimes. You have nipples like a cat. Yeah. Like, <laughs> you have cat nipples, dog. Like, like when you see, like, one of your boys stick off their shirts or something, mm-hmm. like you're hanging out or going to the lake back in the day. Yeah. And you see their nipples and they have, like, the pink pointy nipples. Yeah. You're just like, dude, you look like a fucking dog. <laughs> uh, I remember once um, uh, with this one girl that I was with for a little bit. She had some very peculiar nipples. One ones that I've never like experienced before. Did she have innies? Huh? Innies? She, she had um. No, they they were they were small but long. Oh okay, you can time it or not? Like um, like this. Oh wow! Yeah, they were like they were literally like this. You couldn't tell. <laughs> <laughs> no, like for real, dog. It was like it was interesting. I was just like, huh. So you know when she's cold? Hmm. No, because the bra covers them up. It's just some people naturally just have like protruding nipples. Like yeah, that. it's interesting. It's kind of like they have a little bit of Audi nipples. Mm-hmm. And then I'm just like, 
there's a, there's a whole kingdom of nipples out there that we have yet to explore. The if forgotten were, uh, realm of nipples. Uh, if you're over 18, DM us your nipples. Yeah. What? No. <laughs> It's especially the males. <laughs> Send me them hairy areolas. Dude, what if we become really huge in like the in like um the gay community and we're just getting constant be like beehole photos? God dude, that'd be terrible. No, they find out about like the the episode. The episode yeah. where you re- yeah, and then just constantly sending you beehole video uh, uh, videos. I'll start rating them then. <laughs> no, I would literally was like, You got a mole. What? I would be like, You you got herpes. Uh, you need to use Nair. <laughs> my, oh my God. You said I'd start raiding them. Yeah, but I heard, raping them. I no. heard raping. No. I, <laughs> rate. Gonna, rate. Because I'm going to have to rape all these men now. <laughs> Let me teach them all a lesson. <laughs> no, but like, you know, just start like, you know, I'm one of those guys where something, if something happens like that, I just like roll with it and, and turn it back around. Yeah. People who, like, fuck with you, they hate it when they turn around on you. Like, so, yeah, like, when people, were like, back in high school, they'd be like, oh, you're such a fat fuck. They'd be like, yeah, I know. What other fucking joke you got, bud? You're fucking ugly. I could lose weight. And, you know, that generic one or. Yeah. Just be like, I still pull bitches, you don't, or just shit like that. Yeah, or just yeah, yeah. don't acknowledge it. Mm-hmm. And it was just an easy way to get people very frustrated. And it was funny as shit. Yeah. But yeah. I've always enjoyed back and forths, but the thing is, like, I'm sure as you can tell, I hate whenever people, whenever you get into a back and forth and a person doesn't hit you with a comeback, they just hit you with mockery. Oh, like I did the other day? Yeah, because it gets under my skin, because it's just like, <laughs> oh. Yeah, but, that, but that's, that's, the, that's the point. It's like, you're at that point, you're no longer using, like, skillful, like, like comebacks you're just you're reverting back to like the play scrum, the, the the playground mockery well it's not it's a it is a skillful thing yeah. because you know it's going to get out of their skin i didn't want to acknowledge that episode and i want to say that that was me on early on that was me early set dealing with some seasonal depression because after the fact i was like i was having a couple of bad days after yeah. that and i was just kind of like and it, that I was like, at first I thought, was it just because he got under my skin? I'm just like, no, that's not the reason. Because I mean, he, he, he I, we've said plenty of shit to each yeah. other. Where like, like obviously, we're family. We don't, we don't fucking like hold on to like dumb shit like that. You know, it's just yeah. us fucking giving each other a hard time. But then I realized, oh wait, I've been fucking feeling down lately because of the weather. So I'm just dealing with like this seasonal depression that I do every year. Because when it gets cold, I fucking feel miserable. And I don't know what it is. There's just something about cold weather de- that just depresses me every single time. I have to like, it takes me a minute to get out of it. And I, I think it's it, because dude. I think it's the lack of sun. Well, I think, yeah. I think Start taking some vitamin D. I, I mean, I take a multivitamin every day. But Drink it's, a sunny D. But I think it's, no, I think it's mostly just because I haven't been spending a lot of time outside. I really do like to reconnect to nature whoa, whoa, whoa. a lot. I need to go fucking for a hike and go explore yeah. the woods a little bit. Fucking woods. I need. I'll probably do that this Saturday. Um, Weren't we supposed to play board games? Yes. Are you still down for that? What time? I don't know. We'll figure it out. Well, I have to have. I have to ask uh, my yeah. wife, and we'll fucking figure it out from there. Because I know. Because uh, I completely forgot to tell Hannah about it, and then Denise told her on I know, Tuesday. So our wives fucking went to a Zumba class together. Yeah, which I thought was funny. Because Why? Uh, huh? Why? Because it's just like I, I don't know. It's, it's like <laughs> they think they're working out. <laughs> like, <laughs> bro, no, dude. It's actually it's all at work. Go lift some weights, bitch. Like, come on, <laughs> get to it. Like, <laughs> really? You should go do a Zumba class one you day. See this? This isn't done with Zumba. This is done. Those with Twinkies. Fucking, this is fucking pure jacking off. <laughs> No, for real, damn, dude. I really, dude. My forearms are fucking looking good. And Stop it's all, masturbating it's all, so much. It's because I, I literally beat off like this. I beat off like going outward. <laughs> no, it's because when I, you do it, when you do it this way, it almost feels like a ghost hand because it like cuts, someone else is doing it for you. It cuts off the circulation to that hand a little bit, so it kind of feels like someone else is doing Your it. Your circulation should have cut off if you do that. No, it's because the way I twist my arm, I'm twisting my arm on, like enough to where it goes, like if it hurts. No, I'm telling you, it's not supposed to happen, dude. I mean, I'm just swollen in all kinds of places, dog. Or you have a fucking blocked artery. Uh, no, no, it's just by fucking terrible posture. Yeah. 
Sometimes the back of my neck goes numb. Is that normal? No. Oh, okay. <laughs> Anyways. No, you should go do a Zumba class one day. Mm? You should go do one. No. Why? I because you're gonna be huffing and puffing. I know that because yeah. one time Denise made me go do a fucking my wife took me to a yoga class. Dude, yoga whoop your ass. Yoga dude. destroyed me, dude. That's when I realized how unflexible I am. Cause mm. I am a stiff motherfucker, dude. And that's the thing. Like people are always like, Oh, it must be so fucking nice to be tall. No, well, because you have to stretch a lot or else you become a stiff fucking stick of a man. It's like, what is it? You know when you have a big dog and they get joint problems because they're bigger? You know I got that dog in me, dog. <laughs> that Kirkland $2 hot Kirkland dog. $2 hot dog. <laughs> Kirkland signature, baby. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Have you seen that fucking talk about te- uh, hot dogs? The guy that... Uh, it's not like the one trailer trash guy. His skill... He slurps down a whole hot dog, spits it back out, (laughs) and catches it, and then does it again. Wait, were you the one that sent me the video of the guy who took Slim Jims and made the coffee? (laughs) Yeah, this guy blended Slim Jims, put them in a coffee machine, made Slim Jim juice, and then hollowed out a hot dog (laughs) as a straw. (laughs) And he used to play it. (laughs) That, I don't know why, but that fucking straw, that, that holdout hot dog made me think of, like, do you remember the fucking kid pocket pussy? The kid pocket pussy? When you were a kid, you remember that little thing that you, like... like oh, okay. I was about to say no. Yeah, yeah it was like... <laughs> no, little, I know the thing you're talking it's about. It's a little kid's toy that used to basically be a pocket pussy. And you'd yeah. flip around. Every kid put their dick in that. I did. <laughs> I fucking... I, dude, I molested the shit out of that toy. That thing was so sharp, though. Huh? I know. It, it never entered. It, only the tip made it in, but it was enough. And it was enough to get the, the pressure where you needed it. Jesus Christ. And you just wiggle it enough times. It wiggle it. <laughs> yeah, because you, cause it's, it's all head play at that point, which, I mean, it's the most important part anyways. Continue. <laughs> I was also thinking about that, too. I was just like, how fucking often are we neglecting how much we need to work out our fingers because finger popping yeah is so essential sometimes that's how you rev up the engine dog and i'm just i'm just like, like a gas pump. <laughs> yeah that's what i'm saying but i'm saying like if you work it out enough how long would it take before you just have the perfect strength and technique to get like an instant like squirt i mean that's not how it works at all but you know as far as we know. You're just going to break her pelvis. Nobody's fucking... Get your fingers so strong. Crack! Fuck! <laughs> <laughs> Either that or you're just one hell of a fucking, like, prostate exam doctor. Just like... Uh, just instantly making dudes come all the time because you yeah. get the prostate. I'm going to feel really weird if, like... You know, when... You, when wh- how are you supposed to be? 40? 40. You're supposed to be 40 to get, before you get your prostate exam? If that doctor just comes in, no gloves, just like... It's like, oh god or is that one tiktok of the guys like hold on do you feel it can you feel that and you see the hand like no don't move don't move <laughs> can you feel that and then the other hand goes up like do you feel that yo yo do you feel that <laughs> god yeah uh. it's just gonna be like it's so weird because like there's so many dudes out there that are still like oh i don't want to prostate exam it's fucking gay it's like you need to have it done dude come on just get a finger up your butt i'm just saying what if you like it? Then, I mean, you, know. then you fucking like they, it. That's what I'm saying. That's uh, yeah. Why wouldn't you want to at least find that? If you don't like it, then you don't like it. Yeah, but if you do. You still got to go get it done every year after If you do. I mean, just tell your wife to trim those fingernails and <laughs> <laughs> give you a little howdy doody from now on. <laughs> howdy doody. Yeah. <laughs> scrape out the doody. Just cook them out finger looking like a butter finger. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God, dude. I need you to clean out that Hot Pocket. <laughs> <laughs> I had a little Caesar's hot and ready. Are you hot and ready? <laughs> I just thought, how gross would it be if you just slurped out the insides of a Hot Pocket? Uh. Like, you... You, you, <laughs> you, you, you just... You, you ripped the top off like a cover. <laughs> no, you put a straw. You, you You're going to have to use one of those boba straws. <laughs> cheese and everything that's in it. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, I haven't had a hot pocket in a minute. Ugh. I don't want one. No, they're actually pretty gross. Yeah, they're bad for you. 
Oh, I forgot. I told you. I made a amazing discovery. Mm. Air frying burritos, dog. It's just, oh, yeah, you told me about it's it. It's fucking good. I gotta try it. It's so goddamn good, and it's not oily. It's not oily. Also, lately, I, don't know. I like the oil crisping it up on the inside a little. Yeah, I, I will say it doesn't have the same kind of level of crispiness that you mm-hmm. get out of the oil, but it's still a good alternative. It's kind of like, you know, dude, I made wings in the in the deep fryer yesterday. It's like cauliflowered rice isn't as good as real rice, but it's still pretty good. No, I like cauliflower rice. That's what I'm saying. It's still yeah. pretty good. So it's like kind of like an air fried burrito is still a good alternative to a deep fried burrito. But I mean, if I had the option to eat an air fried burrito or a deep fried burrito, yeah, I'm probably gonna go for a deep fried burrito. I know that, but you, why would you yeah. risk the high cholesterol? Because I've been do good pretty well, like up until now. I think I deserve it. <laughs> I did, dude. I ate an apple fritter today. <laughs> you, you ate a what? An apple fritter. Oh, I think you said I ate an apple, so I deserve <laughs> a few deep fried burritos. No, you know I've been losing weight still. Uh, uh, I haven't weighed myself lately. <laughs> Uh, are, you, are you trying to bargain with yourself right now? <laughs> I've been good. I've been good. No, I did that. That's I've right. been fucking good. I got the I got uh, the apple fritter out of like because uh, we brought uh, donuts in for work. Yeah, and I was like, I deserve this. <laughs> 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 you know, what? and I ate it, and it, and it was fucking delicious. How many times, like, when it, at late at night, do you get the 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 urge? Do you get the urge of like? Ah, not time for something sweet. Like before, it, before. it comes with age, dude. It does. We'll, we'll eat like dinner, my wife and I, and then we'll be sitting there. And we're like, do we have anything sweet in the fridge? <laughs> like, she was like, well, we got apples. I'm like, I don't want a bitch ass apple. <laughs> what? Been, I don't know how many occasions there's been where it was late or it was getting late. Yeah. And we're like, what time does Kroger close? And we go to Kroger and I just buy like a slice of cake. I don't oh, want those little ones. Yeah, yeah. I don't want a cake, but they're but, like the perfect portion size. Yeah, yeah. But, but it's still, it's 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 funny because of like how much my habit. I, there's one habit I've had for a long time. Sucking dick. I, <laughs> 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 hey, 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 hey! It's a good source of protein. No, it's not. I gotta get my macros. <laughs> No. (laughs) (laughs) How much protein is in there? Uh, Not a lot. Did you see that one video about that guy who's like trying to de-age himself by coming on his own face? (laughs) Keep going, bud. (laughs) (laughs) So this is fucking... You're just going to end up the old fucker that keeps coming on his face. (laughs) (laughs) I'll be young forever. There's this billionaire guy who's obsessed with de-ageifying himself. He basically has a whole YouTube channel where he's devoted to doing different things to um to de-age himself like he's he's he he has a younger son Mm -hmm. who's giving him blood to pump into his own blood yeah and then yeah it's insane yeah uh and then um recently he came out with a video where everybody was just like watch this he's basically coming on himself and that's what it is he's collecting his own cement semen because apparently he said that there's like really good benefits in semen because it's got a high protein counter, this and that, which I think is just like yeah, bullshit. It sounds it's, like bullshit. It's bullshit pseudoscience, right? It sounds like uh, the my buddy from high school told his girlfriend at the time that cum whitens your teeth. <laughs> and this she was getting blasted in the mouth so many times until she asked the teacher about it in health class. Oh, my God. Because she was like talking about like the sexual thing. And she was like, is it true that if someone, if you get cum in your mouth, it whitens your teeth? Everyone started dying laughing. And the teacher's like, no. (laughs) (laughs) And uh, she got embarrassed immediately. And I think they broke up. (laughs) But yeah, this fucking billionaire guy, he's essentially like making like some kind of facial cream. That's got his semen. Oh, it's facial cream already. Right. And that he it's got his semen in it and he's just rubbing it on his face to try to like tighten up his skin. And he claims that it's working, but I'm just like, I'm not coming on myself yeah. like that. I already just come walks on. in the room. It smells like fucking bleach in here. What the fuck? <laughs> For real. Oh, dude. No, nah, that's too much right there. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's insane like what people will do just because they don't want to get old. I don't have an issue with getting old. Me you, either. You know what I have an issue with? Is getting old and feeling like yeah. I'm getting old. So I think you start I, working out again. Man. That's what I'm saying. Like, the, honestly, like I've seen the evidence. 
I've seen that yeah. people can get into their 40s and 50s looking 10 years younger if they just, you know, eat moderately healthy and have just a, like, semi-active life. And drink stem cells. <sighs> drink drink the blood of the youth. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me of this other bit off that new Nick Mullen um, comedy special where he's talking about like, uh, so me and my girlfriend had an abortion, you know, he's like, I don't like saying we because it just sounds wrong. I sound like a like a stuck up southerner guy. He's just like, I just recently uh, financed the death of a child. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. And the, just, oh, God. What is it? Uh, today we celebrated the second day of uh, Hanukkah at work. It's Hanukkah? Yeah. Yesterday oh. was the first day. Today was the second day. We have a one guy there. It's uh, my Jewish uh, The second day? They say the second day? Yeah. There's eight days of Hanukkah. Oh. Uh. Yeah. Have you seen Eight Crazy Nights? Adam Sandler movie? It's an animated Adam Sandler movie. Oh, yeah. I, I I thought you said uh, I thought you saw it. M, I thought you saw it, said M Shyamalan for some reason. M Night Shyamalan. M Night Shyamalan movie. What a twist. <laughs> In the end, they uh, bomb Palestine. <laughs> <laughs> God damn. But too no, yeah, too so, soon, dog. Too soon. Not for them. <laughs> but um, <laughs> Not soon enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> All right, that's the end of the episode, uh, I think. I'm, oh, God. Yeah. No, we still got, a, we still got four more. Okay, okay. Uh, no, so we were celebrating Hanukkah, and uh, bro, he came in a lot today. He wore his little, uh, his, uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh a yarmulke, but they call it a kippa. It's what they, it's actually called. It's called huh? a kippa. I didn't kippa. know that. And then, like me being a bro, I pulled up the uh, the uh, I have it installed on my phone the the little prayers you have to say each night because you have to light the candles a certain way. Yeah. First is the middle one, and then the rightmost candle, and then tomorrow it's going to be the leftmost candle because you use the middle one to light the candles. Mm -hmm. And then by the end of the day, at the end of the eight days, you have all the candles lit, and you have to say the prayers, dude, and um. He was, he, he was like, I, he was telling me, he's like, I feel like a proud father right now, Jose. You sound like you just did your first bar mitzvah, uh, like, recital. You know, because you have to, like, practice mm -hmm. and shit. And uh, it was fun. Because it's, it's, it's crazy, because this is, it shows you, like, the Hebrew text, which is just, like, a bunch of gibberish. Uh, so <laughs> <laughs> I mean, look at that shit, dude. It looks like alien hieroglyphs and shit. Um, I will cite the first part of the verse. Come a come a come a come million. But no, it's 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 Baruch Ata Adonai Elohai Noi Melech Haolam Osher Kedeshanu Bemitzvotav Vetzvi Vanu Lehad Lik Nyar Hanukkah. Shadow money, sh shadow money wizard gang. <laughs> I told him I was like I this song like was funded by the shadow government. <laughs> no, I feel like um like I told him I was like I feel like I'm casting spells. He's like, oh no, you are. <laughs> But yeah, we just opened a portal to hell. <laughs> but it's what, and then we totally like dragged uh, this one lady that works with us. She's um, she's like very Catholic, mm -hmm. and she was she was being nice. Like we were just like, oh, that was really nice what she did. She got the um, I got him a like a hanging uh, menorah mm -hmm. that uh, it's like felt, so you can put the candles in there so it's not fire because you can't have fire in the workplace. Yeah, and uh, she put it on the back of his chair, but she put all the candles in it, and it was like, well, you didn't know, but it's fine. Well, when she came over to say, like, did you like what I did to your chairs? Uh, and and he was like, uh, I was like, well, you weren't supposed to put all the candles in it like an idiot. <laughs> and I was like, yeah, yeah, I was about to say her name, too. <laughs> but I was, uh, I was like, yeah, you're not supposed to do all that. What are you fucking, I don't know. It was funny. And then she followed it up with, a, did you like what we did to your people? <laughs> Y'all own Hollywood now. <laughs> And all the corporations. You're the reason why Disney is so progressive. <laughs> Dude, that's where. <laughs> and now that's why that wish movie sucked. Oh God, I didn't. Even, I heard it was bad. I yeah, it, it looks stupid. Yeah, it's bad. A lot of people were complaining about it online because they were saying that a lot of it feels like AI generated, which I wouldn't be surprised if Disney yeah, did start doing was, some bullshit yeah. like that. You know, but whatever, whatever. Who gives a fuck anymore? Who gives a fuck pay, about? They still pay to go watch it. Yeah. Yeah. All I know is that. Um, Disney better get the lead out and release that goddamn Blade series because I'm That's getting crazy. really impatient. Well, it's not a series. Huh? It's a movie. I thought, no, it was supposed to be a series. It's a movie. It's a movie? Yeah. God damn it. Yeah. Well, I know who's playing Blade. Yeah, he's going to be good. He's going to be a damn good Blade. 
I want to see who else they put in it because it's going to be him. Uh, what's his face? The guy from Game of Thrones. He's going to be like the Black Knight or some shit like that. Which guy from Game of Thrones? Um, he was in the what movie was he in? He was in the movie The Eternals. He was uh like dating one of the Eternals. Oh yeah, yeah, the guy who played Rob Stark, I believe. Yeah, yeah, but he's uh the Black Knight. Yeah, he was he was yeah he was um. Because that's what the uh, the ending credit scene in Eternals was. One of them is uh, yeah. he was like opening a box and you see the blade, the he, sword. Yeah, he's the main dude that gets fucked like fucked up in the Red Wedding episode. Yeah, remember his wife gets like stabbed like with, mm-hmm. uh, with like the, with, the, with the with the baby bump and yeah. shit, and but, then the uh, mom gets fucking like like ripped open. Yeah, that's back when Game of Thrones was good. Yeah, back when you could see fucking, you know, um, what's her name, the girl who played. Um, the the white haired girl. Oh yeah, she was hot. What was her fucking name? The actor, I don't Amelia know. Clark. Yeah, I think yeah, she was banging though. Yeah, you saw her titties in that. <laughs> sure, saw that yeah. ass. Yeah, she was hot. Saw that fucking little monkey for a minute. Saw all that shit. TV shows back then were like a lot more daring. I think I'm getting more and more horny as I get older. <laughs> 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 I'm getting way too fucking nasty. You're gonna be the, the gross old man in the corner, just like. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Show me a monkey. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let me see what that chimp look like. <laughs> oh, God. I'll give you all my tokens. <laughs> you Ooh. want grapes or you want tokens? It's a callback to our viral video that yeah. you can see on our Instagram. All right. Yeah, but thanks again for listening to another episode, guys. Make sure to follow us at the Knife Funk Podcast on Instagram. You can find us on TikTok and also on YouTube. We recently updated the YouTube. We got some new uh, videos up there, so make sure to go check those out if you want to get the full length. These videos will be up shortly as well, uh, unless you're already watching it, which if you are, thank you. Make sure to give it a like. Uh, hit that subscribe button, all that shit. Uh, it's Joe's right. flipping... So, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit hit the hit the. It's maybe it's on there. that side. No, it's on that side. Well, no, we're gonna see the the mirror of this. Oh, it's the mirror. Yeah, oh, it's right here. Then. Yeah, it's right over there. Right. Step right there. Right there. Step right there. The like is right there, I think. And then put your lips right here. <laughs> put your lips right there. It's not very big, but it'll get the job done. <laughs> <laughs> All right, but as always, new episodes every Friday. We'll See. catch y'all next time. And as always, you know where to find us. On the internet. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Don't, don't look for us in real life. Look for us. We will deny like giving you any attention. I'll fight you. What? <laughs> I will molest you. <laughs> what if we do get like a stalker or something on this? Uh, that'd be awesome. That'd be weird. Huh? No, that means you finally shoot somebody. We're in the south, baby. We're in the south. We'll light you the fuck up. Yeah, step on my property.